welcome back to Soul Power Tarot and Tennis. So delighted to be with you all here for another tennis video. I'm really loving doing these. I hope you all are too. Uh, today I'm going to do a reading on Emma Raducanu. Um, we're going to look at what's going on with you know her mindset right now. We know that you know she was the 2021 U.S. Open champion. After that, everything went downhill. She hasn't been able to win. She went down from about number 11 to number 80. She's currently at number 80. She's got a wild card for Indian Wells. And now Miami announced that she, they also are giving her a wild wild card, if I can speak. <laughs> um, so I'm going to look into her mindset, how she's doing right now. And then I'm going to look into each of those two tournaments, uh, Miami and Indian Wells. And to see how she's going to do. Okay. So let's now first look at Emma Raducanu. How's she feeling? Her feelings, thoughts, intentions for her tennis. How she's going to move forward um, this year on the tour. And then we'll go in specifically into the next two tournaments that she's going to play. And I'll put a card in there. Actually, the last card is going to be about how she's feeling right now in general her health because she had tonsillitis she had to pull out of the austin tournament um so let's take a look Kano, so it's in front of Kano, Marada, Kano. just giving the cards a quick shuffle with some energy in them the endless energy in them let's see am i right right now okay what am i really kind of thoughts about our tennis right now and our tennis career i mean what am i really kind of intentions for our tennis career right now how am i really kind of move forward in her tennis career this year okay and yeah, we'll leave it there. So let's see. How does... Oh, we said how is she feeling right now? How is her health? How is... Let's see. How is Emma kind of feeling right now? How is her, her fitness levels? How is Emma kind of feeling right now? Okay, we'll put a card for that. And I'm going to add these Lunar more cards to give us a little bit more detail. Uh, I didn't do it in... I, haven't, I don't think I've done it before on this channel. But yeah, I tend to do it a lot. Let's see. How is that? Oh, I'm kind of more kind of more kind of. Oh, her tennis career right now. Yeah, it's about her tennis career right now. Whatever. Right now. How am I going to move forward in her tennis career right now? Okay, I'm going to start with how she's feeling and then I'll go into um, the rest of the reading. Okay, I've guided to start here. So the sun, she's feeling better. Um, got the sun, she's feeling better. Okay, so she's feeling better from the tonsillitis. I mean, usually two weeks and I think she's been off more than that. So you'll do well. She's, she's feeling good, but the mountain here... Um, delays. I don't know about delays, but it's about someone feeling just like sluggish and um, blocked, and and so um, she feels better. But it seems like her healing was slower than she would have wanted. Um, her getting better from tonsillitis, and um, you know she feels like she expected to get better quicker than she did. So she felt like her healing um, was a little bit delayed and blocked, but overall, I feel like she's feeling better. She's feeling better, but still feels like she she's feeling a little bit um, with the mountain is also like stiff. Um, she's feeling um, the effects of being sick, so not being able to be as you know active, maybe in practice as she wants. But she's, she's doing better, okay? So that's what this is here with the sun in the mountain. Um, now, how does she feel about her tennis right now? Um, the four of pentacles here. 
she wants to hold on to um she wants to hold on to she wants to try to defend some titles i'm not sure if she has very many to defend but she wants to defend the titles that she does have she wants to hold on to whatever money um whatever sponsorships that she has um you know and you've got the anchor she wants a more stable career right she feels like she needs to have more stability in her tennis career and financially she feels financially set and financially stable um you know she feels like financially she's good but in terms of the tennis career she feels like she needs more um stability and this year is someone who wants to hold on to their deals the money they've made the deal sponsorship long term so I think that is where her focus is more than tennis and I believe her agent said that she's she um, her, you know the difference between her and Iga because Iga um, is using her management but also she kept her her Polish management and um, she's using the same agent as well as um, Emma and he said that the difference between the two of them is Iga is not interested in all these um, sponsorship deals, getting as many as she can. That's she's really focused on her tennis. Whereas Emma, um, she's been taking any you know all these deals and any deals that have come to her, and that's really important to her more than it is to Iga. He always he already sees the differences. So she's not going to be chasing. He was saying Iga is not going to be chasing sponsorship deals like Emma has been. Okay, so they were kind of asking him those questions. And this is here, her main concern. And I'm asking about her tennis career, you guys. And her main concern is, is maintaining her sponsorships and whatever money um, that she she made. So not showing me tennis right now. Her thoughts about her tennis career. Yeah, she feels like her tennis career, I mean, is going down the drain. Eight of, eight of uh, pentacles reverse, you know. She has lost money. She, you know, she's lost money. She feels like she has a lot of work to do. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is someone working hard, money coming in, them getting rewarded for their work. And she feels like all the hard work she did kind of was undone. And she lost, you know, um, her way. And the book, you got the book here. The book is about secrets. It was also about information. And I think she's been keeping it a secret, you know, how much that she lost some deals, um, that she has lost money as well on this journey. The book is saying, like, this is, there are things that she's keeping to herself. So, you know, A, some of the sponsorships or money that she has lost. Um, there's a lot of secrecy around that, you know, a lot of secrecy around, she's around, um, what she's lost, the downfall. It's almost like she wants to be secretive about how she really feels about it. And, you know, there, like I said, she, what I'm getting psychically is she has lost some sponsorships. She doesn't, she hasn't been able to retain all of them, but that was kept a secret. She didn't want people to know. She doesn't want people to know how, how bad, sorry about that light. She doesn't want people to know how bad this really is. Although, I mean, we can all see. So she and the sponsorships that she lost. Because, you know, when you lose sponsorships, you lose money. Right. And um, so she's keeping that um, a secret. But also this is her realizing that she has a lot to learn, you know, um, and that she still has a lot of uh, a lot to learn and a lot of work to do. She she feels and thinks about her career, right? So her intentions for her career right now. Um, wow. Okay. So her intentions for her career right now. You've got the chariot in reverse. When it's upright, this is about stability, overcoming adversity. Um, when it's reversed, this is everything crashing and burning and not being able to move forward. Like this is picture a car. It's like the wheels, like a car just really falling apart. And, um, she wants to, her intention is to try to stabilize her career. 
right? The the tower is about stability and and really rising up. So she wants to really um, steady this ship, this sinking ship, and try to rise up again. Okay, that's the intention for her career. But these deals here, being overly focused on those deals, I don't know how that's going to help. Um, think that she definitely needs someone to really help her the right way. And as far as we know, she hasn't really got a coach. She's gone through so many coaches. Um, it really seems like the around her, whoever is around her is not really helping her the way she needs like they, they've been she's been getting some bad advice and as a result of the bad advice the go you know changing coaches so much it's 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 completely just derailed her the the, the chair reverse is, is being derailed being derailed completely just crashing and burning so this is much worse than you know we realized and Obviously, she was trying to downplay it and pretend that, oh, yeah, I'm glad that I this happened because now I can learn from it. Um, I don't see any glee here. You know, she's just trying to make money from it while she can. It seems to be the, the here. Um, you know, and how will she move forward with her career? You have the lover's card. Well, she's trying to decide. She's got choices that she has to make. Um, she... You know, she, I don't have any doubt that she likes tennis, but I mean, nobody likes losing. Um, you know, the lovers in this case is all about decisions, making decisions about your career and, you know, trying to stay healthy as well, the sun. So here she wants to, she wants to be successful again. She wants to win again. Um, there's someone though, when I look at this lover's card, there, there may be a relationship that she gets into that really helps her, um, just see what is wrong, what's, what the wrong things, um, that she's been doing and, and really, um, what she needs to do to get herself out of this rut. Cause this person that she works with is going to help her. Um, do better the sun so it's encouraging to see this this person that she works with she may work with them or you know when it's the lover's card this is more of a romantic relationship and this person is going to help her um really find herself again because it just seems like emma's kind of sort of lost she's lost in all this um she got all of this when she was so young what was it 18 19 everything came at her so fast and she crashed because honestly, I believe the people around her failed her. She made some bad decisions, but that's why you have a team. That's why you have a management team. And the people around her right now um, are not, they're, they're failing her. The, the, this from the, you know, the sponsors. And there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure for her to retain these sponsorships here. And that is on her mind. Um, you know, they all, I'm pretty sure they want their money's worth you know so you know some of them dropped her some of them you know there's still pressure to see if she can do better and you know i think if this year she she's not able to to do better it, it's it's going to become even more stressful for her so i'm gonna now um look into this year really quickly and then look into the next two tournaments for her um so let's see, I'm going to do a quick four card spread on just in general, this 2023, how is it going to be for Emma? So let's see, how is this 2023 tennis season going to be for Emma? For Ricardo, how is this 2023 tennis season going to be for Emma? Raducano, I forgot to say the disclaimer, guys. So this is for entertainment purposes and allegedly sees... Do your own research, form your own opinions. Okay, this is just based on tarot energy, and yeah. So make form your own opinions, do your own research. Um, I'm gonna take a look. Let's see how's Emma Raducano gonna do. How is Emma Raducano gonna go? How's Emma Raducano's twenty two?
Yeah, it's not going to go so well for her, guys. She, you've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. She's going to, uh, she's going to lose more money. This is losing money. This is people not wanting to invest in her anymore. Um, this is her efforts being, whatever efforts she puts in, being wasted. Um, she feels like they'll be, you know, they're wasted because she doesn't, you know, she doesn't get what she wants. So she's going to struggle. She's going to continue to struggle this year. The Four of Wands, um, she will achieve some goals that she has for herself. Um, you know, she'll achieve some goals. She'll work through some difficulties with the Six of Swords. Uh, I do see some difficulty with traveling as well, but um, she she's going to work through some difficulties and she'll achieve some of her goals, but um, strength and stamina and maintaining stability, the strength card is in the challenge position. It's going to be tough for her to maintain stability and stamina and strength. This year, she's just not going to have it in her to get to where nowhere near where she was in 2021 it's she's not going to have that that stability uh, the strength the stamina that she's wanting this year it's going to take her time to build that um, with the strength card in the challenge position and finally the outcome the fear of swords she's she's going to be frustrated she's going to end the year feeling frustrated feeling heartbroken feeling emotional she's um she doesn't feel like she's going to really do too much better than last year to be honest with you guys it's gonna be a rough year for emma you know it's gonna be another rough year she will you know have some like i said minor achievements and stuff like this i don't see her really winning any titles this year she will check some of those things off her list and overcome some difficulties but it, it just it's not gonna be enough um for the sponsor, it's not going to be enough for her because it's just not going to be anything significant. She's going to struggle more than... So her struggles are going to be more than the victories here. Um, she's going to find it hard to balance um, things on the tour. And my um, board is a little bit yellow. Sorry about that. So yeah, she's going to find it hard to balance things on tour as well. Um, it is, yeah, she's going to struggle, unfortunately. Anyway, let me move on to Indian Wells and, um, I'm going to move on to Indian Wells and, and, uh, Miami. So I'm going to do a quick four card spread about each one too. So I don't make this video extra long. Um, cause the, the first one for the other channel was already very long. So... Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, let's see. I'm going to shuffle. Make sure I have them all the cards in. Okay. So I'm going to kind of, how's I'm going to kind of going to do at, let's see, how's, let's see, so Indian Wells. How's Emma Rado kind of going to do at Indian Wells next week? How is Emerita kind of going to do at Indian Wells tournament next week? How is Emerita kind of going to do at the Indian Wells tournament next week? And ask, tournament next week. Okay. How is Emerita kind of going to do at the Indian Wells tournament next week? Okay, this is Indian Wells. Yeah, she's, she's not going to do to her i based on what i'm seeing here she's not going to be fit to play so she's happy that she has this wild card or that she was given this wild card um she's happy about it she's gonna go and try to enjoy it the sun card um but she's not in her heart she's not 100 percent fit the king of wands in reverse so you know, again, when it's upright, it's someone who is in control. They're feeling strong. They're feeling motivated. They're feeling passionate. Here, well, she's she's not feeling her best still. When the King of Wands is reversed, she's not feeling her best, not feeling too strong. But hey, I'm going to go and enjoy it. I got this wild card. I'm going to try and see what happens. Um, the challenge, the Nine of Cups, she's not going to like it. She's Nine of Cups. It being in the challenge position is saying it's going to be hard for her to win it's going to be hard for her to even enjoy um this 
this uh, tournament. Um, she's just not going to do well. She's not going to do well in this tournament. And she's she's not going to like it. She'll put on a brave face. Five of Swords. Again, it's saying that she's not going to do well. She is also not going to be feeling 100% during the tournament. So she will have fatigue, other minor illnesses that creep in. Um, so yeah, her form will be a problem. Her health, her just overall strength, stamina is going to be a problem um, during this, this tournament. So... But it seems like she's determined to go and play and see what she can do. It's a 1,000 tournament. I don't see her winning it. Um, I don't see her winning it. She just doesn't have the form, the stamina, the energy. Um, she's not in 100% in well. Um, even though she'll look, you know, try to look like she's, over, you know, feeling better and she's happy. But it's not going to be fun because it's, it's going to be really tough for her. Um, so, yeah, so that is Indian Wells, and let's take a look at Miami, um, let's see, I'm already kind of, 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 okay, how's I'm already kind of going to do with the Miami tournament, how's that? tournaments look like um these two tournaments don't look too good like I, I see her not even being sure that she wants to play it after Indian Wells so yeah this card dropped out I'm gonna put it up here I don't see her doing well this looks even worse than Indian Wells to be honest with you um Indian Wells look a, a little somewhat positive um, the high the high priestess here is saying she's going to think about playing. She's going to really think about her strategy. She's going to, you know, come into Miami with a strategy and um, and all of that and really try to go within and, and really find herself and play at a higher level again. But the Ace of Swords, whatever plan she's going to come with, she's going to be defeated with it reversed. She's going to be defeated. When it's upright, this is... You know, winning, um, executing your plan, and your plan being successful. When it's reversed, whatever this plan is, you're gonna, she's gonna be defeated. It's just not gonna work. Um, it's not gonna work for her. The Ace of Wands. She, um, again, with this Ace of Wands here, she is going to, you know, try her best and and play aggressive with Ace of Wands, and she's still thinking. You know, what's going to happen is she's going to decide based on how it goes at Indian Wells if she's even going to play in Miami. This is her kind of um, thinking. Should I even play there? Should I play at a lesser tournament? Um, she's not even sure she wants to play there in Miami. The tower reverse, when it's upright, this is crashing and burning, rebuilding. Here, um, when it's reverse, which is how she got it, this is crashing you know, not doing well and not being able to pick herself up. So it's like she will come in, um, she decides to play that form, that bad form, form from Indian Wells and the loss and the shaking confidence from that. She's going to go into uh, Miami with that. And she's just not going to be able to pick herself up at Miami either. She's not going to be able to redeem herself. The Tower Reverse. And she will also leave there heartbroken, Three of Swords heartbroken, frustrated, hurt, um, you know, it, it, both of these tournaments just don't look good. I think it wasn't the right decision for her to accept these wild cards. She's not ready. It, she doesn't look to me like she's ready, um, you know, and, um, but she wants to try. She wants to try. Um, there are big tournaments, you know, it's 
once in a lifetime opportunity. I think her ranking wouldn't get her into this these tournaments right now. She would have to play um, qualifier. Uh, she would have to play in the qualifiers. So she's got wild card into both main draws. So she's going to try. I mean, you know, kind of blame her for wanting to try. She's an athlete. She's, you know, this is what this game is about fighting and trying and taking your chances. That's what tennis really is about. But she isn't ready. I think she's not being honest with herself about her form and where she is. She's not ready. And both of these tournaments are going to be very brutal for her. And she's really, I think it's going to set her back in terms of confidence and self-esteem wise. It, it's really going to set her back. It's not going to do her any favors. Um, she's not, I don't feel like she's going to be well prepared for any of them. And just not feeling good first of all. Um, yeah, she's just, it, at this point where she is, both of these tournaments are just going to be too much for her. You know, so... This is what I see for you guys. Um, I hope this helps. Love and light to you. And I wish you all the best. Like, subscribe. And if you would like a private reading with me, please click on the link below. My website is in the description box. And um, there's a special 50% discount only for my YouTube viewers. If you use the coupon code TARO50, T-A-R-O-T, -T, all caps, with the number 50, all joined together, you will get 50% off of and all the readings on my website, all the services, 50% off of anything you like on the website, just for you all, uh, my YouTube viewers, um, as a thank you for watching these videos and helping this channel to grow. Once again, like, subscribe, so that the channel can continue growing. Thank you again. And all the best. Take care. See you in the next one. Bye.